What is up everyone? This is the Prophet here with another video and today we are going to be doing a solo chest run out here in Greek Water in Siren Stand. This chest run you can get almost every single elite chest solo. Uh, some of these are going to be a little difficult just depending on if there's people clearing or if um, you get lucky with some mob diagro or not. But first off we're just going to run in here. You can loot this chest without having this guy on. This guy will not pull to you as long as you don't attack him. Just go through the supply stockpile. There you go. Secondly, I'm just going to go up this ramp. And we're going to go to the first boss over on the right. I usually do these chest runs flagged. But for the sake of the video and not having any interruptions, I'm just going to do it myself. Or unflagged, so I don't have to worry about it. But if you hide down here, make sure you lay parallel like this so you can't get hit. There is a sword guy that aggroes, and if you're laying like this, he can hit you. If you're laying like this, you can't get hit. But this is a de aggro spot. If you sit there, like all the other videos and all the other mobs, if you sit there long enough, they'll de aggro and they won't get you. There's a little spot right here that you have to like jump over and like slowly move forward, and then you lose the chest. I know the mobs went towards those guys, doesn't matter if if you sit behind this uh, area right here, uh, they're going to de-aggro. You can leave that chest without killing the boss or anything like that. So next one, I'm just going to go back to the right. my server there's usually people clearing this all the time so I'm trying to do this at an early hour so you guys can actually see how to do it on a normal time. So here, just jump up here, de-aggro these guys. De-aggroed. Come here, like this supply stockpile. That guy won't pull and as long as you go around. Those are the most dangerous guys in the videos, or in this entire zone of these axe throwers. Because they can watch at you, and they hurt. A lot. This chest, you're going to want to pull. I'm just going to want to go in here. Let stuff de aggro. Just run right back down. Just retrace, retrace your steps here. Um, I'm gonna go back to the other side of the map now. As you guys know, I haven't uh, been on lately and have been posting too much stuff as uh, there's just not much going on in the game right now. So I've been taking a little break, playing some other games, getting back into it. Hopefully next week with the December update, uh, it's going to bring a lot of good changes to the game. And I'll probably be making more videos, so keep an eye on those. This boss, pull him. I'm going to want to jump back here, lay prone. again before I loot the chest, but we may be able to get away with it. If he aggroes again, just run back in that spot. Looks like I got it. Behind me, he's going to throw an axe. Next chest, I'm just going to run in here. I'm going to jump on the chest, prone, and lay sideways like this. So as you can see, these guys are all going to de-aggro. You're in the de-aggro spot right here, so just wait. That guy's gone. You got a gunner. The boss isn't going to pull. We're good. I really hope this December update is solid and that, I mean, based on the PTR and some of the changes, it looks like a lot of stuff is going to be pretty nice going forward. 
So hopefully it does bring a lot of people back to the game. I know a lot of people have quit, so they don't to do anymore. Like, I have all 600 your score legendary items that are all have resilient. Basically have, I can't really improve my gear too much besides the Lazbo. But I have six Lazarus keys, so I probably could be able to get it pretty easily if I want to farm it out. So I, ho I really hope this update is pretty solid. Uh, this is probably the hardest part on the run. Um, you need a you need range, so we need to take out this guy while not dying to all these other guys. Uh, so the door opens up. So don't shoot it too early, or the uh, damage is gonna reset. And I died. Not a big deal. I was able to kill the guy. The door is gonna break open. Not the end of the world. So I'll see you guys when I run back. Alright, you're back now. The door is open. Follow these guys. Make sure you're rolling here because that guy's going to throw another axe and you do not want to be hit by that. Looks like the ogre boss is dead. Either way, I'm just going to jump on here if he was alive. Hide right here. Careful, this guy. If you hide, don't hide close enough to the wall. He can pull and he will throw an axe from up there, and if you're like out here, he can one shot you. So just a heads up. So we're just gonna wait a sec for these to respawn. As you see, the red went away, and we're gonna loot. All right, on to the next chest. We've got a couple more. I always forget how many. I think it's like two or three. Uh, we will be looting the supply chest as well as the final main chest. So you can loot these little ones if you want. Totally up to you. There's a few that you can loot uh, along the way that don't pull mobs or whatnot. Stay to the right here so you don't pull the axe guy, but if you don't know, it's just a big deal. So in the second house here, there's a crate right here. We're just gonna jump up here, hide the corner, leave the ground. You may get hit by this guy. Yeah, not a big deal. He only hit you, hits you once or twice. He's gonna de-aggro, everything outside's gonna de-aggro. If there's a still gunner on you, he won't come in here, which is kinda weird. So he's still on me, he's on the other side of the wall. He won't come in here. Be able to loot that before he even bothers. Alright, so to that chest. I'm just gonna head back up here. This is definitely the hardest chest to get because you have gunners that can kind of mess you up. So we're just gonna run around here. Pull all of this. I'm just gonna hide right here. You only you get screwed if there's a gunner that on this side that can shoot you. Um, can one shot you if they use their special, but we're just gonna wait for them to despawn again. Which they just did. And we're just gonna loot. Make sure you always go around that way so the gunner doesn't pull that's in the front. Just run out. Dang most dangerous guy is that guy right there with the two guns. If you pull him on that side, you can shoot you from that side, so just make sure you go around the left side. So this would be our last chest. This will be chest. We're just gonna run around here. Go all the way around the building. Uh, you can get hit by this guy. He may hit you through the wall, so just stand right here, kind of. Yeah, see. Uh, the game's kind of nice with that. Come into you and knock you off, so just be careful. Um, when he despawns, though, we're just gonna run. It's just. Okay, he's not gonna despawn. So we'll just wait a little longer. All 
Alright, pal, there you go. Just loot this chest, and then we are good. Just loot the final chest on the run. And then Siren's over here. I just end the run over here. Jump off. Got a Siren. Check all the loot. And we didn't really get anything good. But, like I said, you can do this every day, 23 hours, and you will be good to go. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will have a route of it in the video, so, thumbs up. You, uh, yeah, so subscribe, like, comment, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one.